Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and more of 31 Days of Oscar. We're in the middle of a night of films that won the Oscar for Best Director. Up next from Warner Brothers, 1956, Giant. Directed by George Stevens, Giant stars Rock Hudson, Elizabeth Taylor, and in his last completed film before his death, James Dean. The screenplay, Oscar nominated, follows the social and personal challenges of a wealthy and affable Texas rancher, that's Rock Hudson, who marries a beautiful, refined, outspoken feminist from Maryland, Elizabeth Taylor. Dean plays a ranch hand with a uh, complicated future. Giant earned George Stevens his second Academy Award for Best Director. His first came five years earlier for the 1951 drama A Place in the Sun, also with Elizabeth Taylor. Giant is a sprawling epic about fiercely independent Americans, often to a fault, limitless opportunity, and a rapidly changing country. It's also a love story, often a heartbreaking one. If you want to learn more about the singular career of George Stevens, you'll want to check out the documentary series Five Came Back from 2017, based on Mark Harris's outstanding book, which is pretty close to a must-read for classic movie fans. Both the book and the series follow Stevens and four other Hollywood directors, Frank Capra, William Wyler, John Huston, and John Ford, who enlisted and served overseas as documentarians during World War II. Stevens, with his camera and crew, visited Nazi death camps at Nordhausen and Dachau near the end of the war. What he saw there changed him forever. Some of Stevens' shocking Holocaust documentary footage was used in the Nuremberg War Crimes trials. Following that experience, Stevens, who had made memorable light-hearted movies like Swing Time, Woman of the Year, and The More the Merrier before the war, never returned to easy breezy features after he got back from serving overseas. He made important pictures that addressed the human condition, movies like A Place in the Sun, Shane, The Diary of Anne Frank. To that end, class discrimination, gender equality, and racism are clear themes in this Warner Brothers classic. From 1956, also with Mercedes McCambridge, Dennis Hopper, and Carol Baker, an Oscar nominee for Best Picture, this is George Stevens' Giant. Rock Hudson and Elizabeth Taylor became close friends while making Giant. They reunited on screen, again playing a married couple. In the 1980 Agatha Christie murder mystery The Mirror Cracked, co-starring Kim Novak and Angela Lansbury. Taylor and Novak played two rival movie stars cast in the same production, with Hudson playing the film's director. Giant director George Stevens earned five Oscar nominations for Best Director, winning for Giant and A Place in the Sun from 1951. His other nominations came for his 1943 comedy, The More the Merrier, his 1953 Western Shane, and The Diary of Anne Frank from 1959. Four out of five of those films were nominated for Best Picture, nominations that went to Stevens as the producer on each one. The More the Merrier was the outlier. In 1955, during production on Giant, Stevens said to his son, George Stevens Jr., if we spend some time on this and take care with it, this might be a film people will be interested in 25 years from now. Turns out 25 years was nothing. Nearly 70 years later, movie fans are still drawn to Giant. Coming up, Lewis Milestone wins a Best Director Oscar for a powerful war drama from 1930. All Quiet on the Western Front is next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, all quiet on the Western Front, then the Divine Lady, and later the Informer. Ford won't be ignored on TCM Tonight.